Hey everyone, welcome back to yet another video. I just wanted to make a brief little disclaimer. Uh, at the end of the video, there is a, an announcement uh, regarding some temporary changes coming to the channel. And uh, make sure you stick around till the end, just so you know like what that is and stuff. Uh, but for now, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you then. Peace. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Uh, today... We're going to be doing something that I have been wanting to do for a little while now. And, uh, you know, some of you with a keener eye may have noticed that uh, my soft top on the Miata is not in the best of shape. So today we're finally going to be uh, replacing it, getting rid of this thing, and uh, putting on a new one. So I've watched a handful of YouTube videos uh, detailing. Well, not exactly detailing, but showing the process, and it doesn't look anything that I couldn't do. So, just gotta like take off a bunch of stuff, take off some stuff back there, and uh, then you know, gotta take it off the frame, take the whole thing off actually, too, which is probably gonna be one of the hardest parts, uh, hopefully. The only thing that I'm really worried about is there's this thing called the rain rail that wraps around the back here, and uh, they tend to go bad um, after a while. I mean, it's just a piece of plastic, and it's, this car alone is like 21, so uh, most of the videos that I saw were of like 92s and NAs, so I guess we'll have to see how that looks. The nice thing is... Since uh, some of the cars are already stripped out, I won't have to take out as much interior. So, for example, these three bolts right there. So, these three bolts right here are the ones that uh, you got to take out to do the um, do the things with that I don't remember the name of. So, uh, yeah. So, it's a completely different day. But uh, we're gonna we're gonna get to the soft top today, so I gotta remove this whole carpet thing to get it out. Nice thing is that since my car is missing quite a few interior pieces, I won't have to remove some stuff. But uh, yeah, let's just get right into it. Yeah. Alright, so a little bit of a progress report. Got all of this stuff all out. Uh, this is ready to come out. I'm just waiting on my dad to help me lift it out. And, uh, yeah, I pulled out that carpet. And it looks like it had been leaking a lot in here, which is not good. So I might just leave that out because I imagine there's tons of mold and stuff that's not good to be breathing, so... I think I'll just leave that off for now and uh, just, you know, it's more, more weight reduction. The nice thing is, is it looks like the uh, rain rail is in good enough shape for my standards. Um, I might pull it out and try and patch it up a little bit, but it just looks full of junk from being clogged for a long time. The uh, stressful part about this is there's supposed to be a uh, big increase in uh, the risk of rain um, as the day moves forward I think it's at like three o'clock it's like a beautiful day right now but Michigan that can change in a heartbeat so just got to get this out then comes the uh, hard part grab on this and maybe under here yeah just like that Alright, so we got the top out, and you can see, you might not be able to actually, in here, 
It is all clogged up. It's all nasty and grody. So I'm going to vacuum it out in here and try and unplug that. Because I don't want that to still be clogged. Because if that's clogged, then the, everything is pointless and it won't drain. Uh, so just try and get all of this out and cleaned as best as I can. Um, like I mentioned, I'm just going to leave this carpet area out here just because it's uh, kind of pointless. Well, not really pointless, but I mean, since mine's all disgusting, I'll just leave it out. I don't need it. I mean, the trunk is already all stripped out, so it'll just match. Might be a little bit louder, but I mean, since when has that been a problem? So, yeah, I'm just going to move the camera a bit so you can see this area a little better and get it all cleaned out. I took a little break from uh, filming there. I got the rain rail back in there. It's all set and ready to go. Don't want that to get too wet. Um, and then decided to just finish getting this all together off camera. We had some trouble getting these ends back on underneath it. Um, and on this side, same kind of deal. Uh, not really sure what exactly, like if we have it together right, hopefully we do. I'm just going to test it because, like I mentioned earlier, it's supposed to rain at like 3, so i got uh, a few more hours till then. But uh, yeah, for now I'm going to get the uh, thing back on and hopefully back installed. and. Yeah, then we'll give it a little test and see if it works.
Alrighty, so if you made it this far into the video, thank you very much. Um, sorry, at the end there, I know I didn't really film as much. Uh, I was more getting into that attitude of just wanting to get it done and uh, not really wanting to film, but it's all done. So, you can see everything is nice and on there, tight. We got it closed just to stretch it out, get it the uh, right length for... Uh, the right size rather for uh, everything big shout out to uh my dad because i couldn't fit in here unless we took out the chairs but he could fit in here got quite a bit of this area right in here all that was in thanks to him um but yeah inside at least everything looks good you can see my uh gorilla tape job here that'll hopefully uh keep it in and uh, nice and water proof and stuff. So, because uh, obviously I wouldn't want that. But other than that. <laughs> Alright, so I was trying to use this webcam, but it wasn't working. Anyway, uh, so this is, I'm trying to hold the camera. This is the section where I tell you how the soft hub worked because I forgot to do it when well recently so uh well pretty like i mentioned in the video there was supposed to be a pretty big rainstorm almost immediately after we finished and there was and it ended up raining for about like four or five even maybe like six or seven days straight so it was thoroughly tested and from what i could tell it was fine uh there was a little area that looked like it might have been leaking but i fixed that it was just some of the weather stripping wasn't aligned right so i fixed that up and it was all good and from there on it seemed like it was smooth sailing uh, other than that the um, announcement that I gotta make so probably noticed last week I didn't upload and that was well it was for a couple reasons I can't speak English but we all know that anyways couple reasons number one being school for me has started again after the whole summer of not having to do anything it was amazing I could just focus on this and it was great, almost like four months straight of weekly uploads, which I am very happy with. But unfortunately, with school starting, I'm becoming more busy, so I'm going to have to slow down a little bit. Uh, for now, I'm going to try and do uh, every other week instead of every week. Uh, I think that should be enough time. Um, if it's not, then I might have to slow it down even more, which I really don't want to because I really want to keep on this little bit of momentum that we have going um but i mean if we can't then we can't and hopefully you guys will understand that uh but i just wanted to give a quick shout out to anyone watching this right now you right there if you're watching this i appreciate you you've made it all the way to the end of the video and that helps me out a ton because with the way youtube works watch time is what matters so if you're here then hopefully you've given me a pretty good chunk of watch time which I appreciate. Um, something like, I don't know, everyone's been saying it, so I'm not gonna say it, but if you haven't already, subscribe. I really appreciate it. It helps a lot, makes me look cool and stuff. Uh, like the video, that helps the video do well in the algorithm. And if you're feeling crazy, share it with a friend or something. Um, I appreciate any form of support you guys can give me. Literally just watching the videos is enough support for me, and I appreciate the crap out of it. But, unfortunately, that is going to uh, be the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, hopefully, it, I know it wasn't exactly the most informative thing, so if you have any other questions in the comments, leave a question and stuff, and I'll do my best to answer it. Um, mostly, like, getting it off and stuff was super easy. The hard part was getting it back on mostly the uh, the actual tarp, well, I, I don't know, the cloth part, getting it back onto the uh, frame of the soft top. But anyway, yes, that's going to do it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.